Hi! Our topic for this lesson is, Linear Inequalities. You need just 5 minutes, to complete this lesson. Let us see our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Use the inequality symbols, correctly. 2. Write, and interpret linear inequality statements. 3. Solve, simple linear inequality problems. Now, let us begin. In mathematics, we use the equal sign, to show that quantities, are the same. However, quantities, can often be different, or unequal. For example, a mother, is always older, than her child, so we say, there is inequality in their ages. We use special symbols, to represent inequalities. First, we have the greater than symbol. The less than symbol. The greater than, or equal to symbol. The less than, or equal to symbol. And, the not equal to symbol. Now, let us learn how to use these inequality symbols, correctly. The sum, 5 plus 3, equals 8, is a simple equality. However, we know that quantities, are often not equal. Let us see these examples. 5 plus 5, is not equal to 8. Here, the sign means, 5 plus 5 is not equal to 8. 5 plus 5, is greater than 8. Here, the sign means, 5 plus 5, is greater than 8. 3 plus 3, is less than 8. Here, the sign means, 3 plus 3, is less than 8. Now, x, is greater than, or equal to 8, means that, x, can be greater than, or equal to 8. And, x, is less than, or equal to 8, means that, x, can be less than, or equal to 8. Let us now write, and interpret linear inequality statements. Example 1. Write the following statements, in their symbolic forms, using the inequality signs, greater than, or less than. A. 6, is greater than a certain number, x. This can be written as, 6 is greater than x. B. Paul's height, m, is less than Peter's height, n. This can be written as, M is less than N. C. 15 is less than B. This can be written as 15 is less than B. D. Minus 1 is greater than minus 5. This can be written as minus 1 is greater than minus 5. And finally, E. Trader Y has more shirts than Trader X. This can be written as, y is greater than x. That's very good. Now, let us solve some simple inequality problems. Example 2. In the boxes provided below, put in the appropriate symbols, that will make the statements true. Solution. 11, is less than 17. 20 is greater than 19. 16, is greater than 13. 12, is less than 18. 15, is greater than 14. 16, is equal to 16. 14, is greater than 12. 17, is greater than 15. 10, is less than 11. And, 16, is less than 20. That's brilliant. Now, pause this video, write down these assignments, and solve them in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. How to use inequality symbols, 
correctly. 2. How to write and interpret linear inequality statements. And 3. How to solve simple linear inequality problems. I believe you enjoyed this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks and goodbye.